Hey guys, welcome to Hunting Television. I'm Jeanette and today I'm just bringing you a little no reviews today for books but kind of like what I'm reading and uh, one of them is Charlatan by Pope Brock and this one has been on my currently reading list for a while. I'm determined to actually finish it soon. Um, it's a true crime novel and it is about charlatans in the golden age of America just taking advantage of people's desire to have sexual prowess Powerless <laughs> throughout their, you know, their later years. Um, so this is before the time of Viagra, and that meant that uh, installing goat testicles or monkey testicles was kind of a big deal at the time. And the theory was that adding goats who are known for their sexual prowess would improve your own. So that was a little crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of just enjoying the way that. Pope Brock has written this novel so far where there's a lot of information. It is very dense on information, but it's put together in a way that's very manageable. Like you don't feel like you're reading an article about this subject. It, it really is getting into the characters of these people who were actually there during this time and doing the swindling or investigating the swindling. And more on this once I finish it, hopefully soon, because I want to check this one off of my list. Boo. Um, and then in the realm of digital reading, I have Voices by Clarissa Drahal that I'm reading, and that one so far... Uh, did I mention that I'm obsessed with insane asylums? I don't think I have. I'm obsessed with insane asylums? I don't know why. Something about mental illness and the fact that in, you know, the horror world, it may not just be all in their heads, you know? So um, that's where this story kind of is. It's like you have this girl who is thrown into an insane asylum because she almost went crazy on someone knocking on her door and <laughs> now they threw her into the crazy house. But the reason why she's in there isn't necessarily in her head. And I really like where the story's going so far, but I'd, I haven't finished it yet. I'm only about... 50% of the way through, but I'm very excited about it. Um, what else am I reading right now? I'm reading Glimpses of the Undead by Julianne Snow, and that one has been on my reading list for a while as well. And that one is a bunch of short stories, anthology style, so hopefully you'll be hearing about that very, very soon. And until next time, I'll see you in your nightmares, and make sure you keep reading all the weird stuff out there. There's a lot of it. <laughs> Bye, guys.